Hello there and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm gonna show you very quickly and very briefly how you can set up a stream delay within OBS Studio and within Streamlabs OBS. Stream delays, what's the reason why you'd want one of these? Well, I can't think of many applications, but there are a couple. First of all, if you're playing a game that maybe is susceptible to stream sniping, or if you're playing like a PVP server where other people can join and potentially grief you or something like that. An example of that is like Rust or maybe Grand Theft Auto. Having a stream delay will mean that you're basically not in the area a stream sniper thinks that you're in and even just a 30 second or a, a 60 second delay can make the difference there some other examples i thought of maybe if you play online poker and you stream it having a delay obviously will stop other people that perhaps could be sat at your table from being able to see your hand i'm not really thinking of many more applications but i'm sure you're here with a very specific application drop a comment below and let me know why you've needed this that'd be really really awesome to to know of as always if you find it useful hit the like button feel free to subscribe to the channel and you're welcome to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana come say hi let's get into this so I'm here within OBS Studio. All we need to do is go into the settings. Obviously, I'm recording in OBS Studio now, so I won't be able to make these changes, but I'll show you exactly where they are and what you've got to do. Within the Advanced tab, there's a section here called Stream Delay. You just need to click the Enable button here and then set the duration which you want the delay to apply for. Now, typically, the latency is somewhere between sort of 4 to 15 seconds, and this has a number of factors depending on how you have set up your Twitch or your YouTube, but also how the viewer has set up their mobile device because there is something called low latency mode within an iOS device. If users haven't set up low latency mode, there's naturally going to be a higher latency anyway between what you say and when they receive that data. So it won't be exact. So you do need to bear in mind there's already an inherent probably 5 to 15 second delay anyway. I've noticed here that you can go to a maximum of 1,800 seconds, which is 30 minutes of delay. Uh, I'm sure there are some instances why you'd want to have that type of delay. So that's built into the software. But the thing you need to bear in mind here is that you do need to have memory usage available because you're essentially storing delay and then it's being pushed up to the cloud through your encoding at a later stage. So the way that a delay will work is that it's essentially recording what you're doing within, say, OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, and it simply will not allow it to be sent up to the encoder, let's say on your graphics card, and then sent up to cloud until that delay has passed. So it's like a natural stopgap for them to stop it from even being processed through the encoder. There's also this preserve cutoff point increase delay when reconnecting. All this does, I believe, is if you do have a disk connection and then OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS tries to reconnect you, it's whether or not that time difference is eaten into the delay that you've applied or whether it preserves that cutoff. In other words, it will still allow another defined amount of time before it then pushes to the encoder. Basically just decides whether it'll immediately push to the encoder, start streaming your content there and then, or it'll remain when it reconnects with that delay. Hopefully that makes sense. There's actually another reason why you might want this. If you're experiencing some disconnection issues, this could potentially help counter some of those disconnection issues, particularly if you've got disconnection protection within Twitch itself. I'm here now within Streamlabs OBS. Again, similar thing within the advanced tabs under the options tab here. We've got a stream delay section. You can choose to enable it, define the amount of time. I don't know what the maximum here is. I suspect it's the same, 1,800 seconds. And then again, you've got a preserve cutoff point. Same thing. So there you have it, how you can easily set up a stream delay for whatever reason you need to use it for. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, hit the like button and have a wonderful day. Take care.